Hi everyone, there's a German word for taking glee in other people's misfortune. It's called Schadenfreude if you weren't aware of it. This gave me the deepest sense of Schadenfreude. This is in the BBC yesterday. Facebook shares tumble as growth disappoints. Look there at the bottom. Facebook shares tumble by more than 20% on Wednesday after the social media network's revenue and user ended growth fell short of investor expectations. Couldn't happen to a, a better organization as far as I'm concerned. The firm, which is facing backlash for its handling of fake news and privacy, said it had 2.23 billion monthly active users at the end of June. No, you haven't. You've got 2.23 billion Facebook accounts which were active at the end of June, of which millions upon millions upon millions are fake. I've said before when I was an internet marketer, I, I and the partner that I was doing it with, we had over 700 accounts between us and I know one person alone who had over 2,000 fake Facebook accounts. Type into an address bar, blackoutworld.com, go to their section on Facebook, teaches you all how to do it, how to set them up. And you will see thousands of people who have got thousands and thousands of hundreds of accounts each. They haven't got 2.23 billion active users. They've got 2.23 billion active accounts of, of which a massive, a huge percentage, not the majority, obviously, but a good portion of them are going to be fake accounts. And I know that for certain. The article continues, this was up 11% on June 2017, the slowest growth in more than two years. <laughs> <laughs> it also warned investors that spending growth could, would outstrip revenue gains in 2019, pinching profits. Facebook said it expected revenue gains to slow as people make use of new options to limit advertising and less profitable overseas markets drive growth. The firm also plans to spend billions to improve the way it monitors content, tracks advertisers and treats users' data, areas where it is faced regular, regular regulator scrutiny. The firm which owns Instagram and WhatsApp is also investing in new features such as virtual reality and video. And I also saw that they're investing in futures. <laughs> they're investing in features such as Facebook dating. <laughs> I'm sorry, if anybody if anybody is interested in going on a Facebook dating app, it's like, do you not care about your privacy? Not only is this company just go to their settings now. Now they've added this um this thing in, so you can see what data a Facebook has got on you. Just go to their settings and have a look at what data. If you've got Facebook on their phone, they will track everywhere you've been. They will track all the phone calls you've made, all the numbers. They will track all your text messages. They will track all your messenger, obviously, uh, messages. They track everything about you. And they say they won't give that to other people. But you know what? You wouldn't have expected they would do that. They wouldn't have expected that they would let Cambridge Analytica harvest the data of millions of people and then sell that on to, you know, there's your, <laughs> there's your, there's your uh, social media fake, you know, your, your social media um, outrage during the 2016 election. That's what you should be outraged about, the Cambridge Analytica thing, not some bloody Russian companies that were doing some internet marketing campaign. And now, after all, after letting them take all that information off you and, and harvest all that information and probably at some stage, you know, give it away to other people, allow other people to harvest it and then sell it on. Now, <laughs> now they want to harvest your, your sexual preference. And <laughs> so anybody who uses that needs their head looking at. At the, at the bottom there, it says shares in Facebook initially fell about 12% in after hours trade in New York, but losses accelerated as the firm outlined its spending plans. I hope those losses just keep going. And I saw this on Fight where Facebook kicked Daniels. I think you you were correct here, half correct, so, so, so to speak. This is what happens when you try, try to control the information presented to users instead of allowing people to freely analyze all angles and think for themselves in a true marketplace of ideas. Exactly, you don't need to regulate fake news. There's just no need. You don't need to regulate it. If people are stupid enough to believe that, you know, Hillary Clinton ran a paedophile ring at a pizzeria in, in Washington, then they're going to believe anything negative 
It's only it, it, about Hillary Clinton. Nobody, nobody in their right mind is ambiguous about things and then saw that, that Pizzagate thing during the election and think, I'm voting Trump now. Nobody. It just confirmed people's pre-held beliefs. That's all it did. Um, and Kit Daniels is right there. You know, this censoring this fake news. <laughs> the fake news they need to censor is CNN and MSNBC. That's, that's who they need to censor. Not independent journalists. I mean, I remember once Lee Camp did a video explaining how Facebook censors independent journalists. And lo and behold, Facebook flagged his video as spam. <laughs> it's unbelievable. And there you can see Bloomberg there at the bottom. That gave me a wonderful warm feeling. Zuckerberg loses $16.8 billion in a snap as Facebook plunges. If you've still got a Facebook account, let me, let me just say something to you. I, for about a year, was thinking about deleting Facebook. I didn't like it at all. And the reason I kept it, I kept telling myself, oh, I need it, for my, I need it to spread word about my websites. I need it to, uh, to keep in touch with my friends. I need it to keep in touch with my family. Really? I kept in touch with my friends before Facebook. You know? My websites did okay before Facebook. You know, before I really um, used Facebook to, to spread word. This channel does all right. Just fine. I don't promote it on Facebook. Since I deleted Facebook, what, five or six months ago now, I haven't missed it at all. In fact, I felt better about myself. For some reason, Facebook makes me feel just bad. At, it just makes me feel depressed. Whenever I used to spend time on there, especially for us I used to spend time on there in, in political groups, it just made me feel depressed. Not just, you know, not just the fact that I was wasting my time on there, but also, you know, I was, some of the people on there, they're not the brightest, you know, they're not the sharpest tools in the shed, shall we say. It would make me, make me feel sad at the state of the education in the world almost. But this is a story that, um, yeah, gave me some schadenfreude. Um, to sum up exactly how I felt about it, to be honest, I'm going to leave, I'm going to end this video with a little clip from a guy from Simpsons who, this is exactly, exactly what I said when I read this story. If you enjoyed this video, please click the bell down there and subscribe um, so you get a notification of next time I drop a video. Also. I can't do this without your help, so if you can afford it and you enjoy my videos, please support the channel by uh, subscribing to my Patreon. Link is down there. You can do it for as little as $1 a month, and it really does help. If you can't afford it, that's fine. Please share my work and talk to other people about uh, the issues that I bring up. Thanks very much for your support. Until next time, peace and take care.